Can I share something with you? Some years back, I forget exactly when, around the time I used to teach at my father's house. Teach Bible study to people. I think almost every time I would pray to God, asking him, what can I teach about? Because <laughs> I think most of the time I had no idea of what I could teach about. Anyways, I think I would pray almost every day around that time. I think I used to pray with my niece much. And I believe the Bible study, like I think more people, I think there came a time to where more people came. And some people may say, Kevin, it is because you were doing a good job. No. It is not about me. I was praying to God, asking for help, because I think most of the time, I did not know what to teach about. Like, very nervous, whatever else. I think I would ask God for help so many times. So if the Bible study grew, it was not because of me, but, but God. And I think so many good things happened in those Bible studies, at least most of them. I had a dream which I think most dreams are not really dreams. Excuse me. I think many dreams are supernatural experiences. Anyways, to make this easy to understand, I had a dream. I was at my parents' house. And I forget who was all there. I think it was me, my mom, my dad, maybe my sister. I don't remember. And I looked up as if someone or some people was coming through or portal from the ceiling of my parents' house. And if I remember correctly, I believe I saw a white woman with very dark hair. And I think I saw maybe one or two white males with, I guess, blonde hair or something like that. And in this dream, which I call it supernatural experience, I think I could discern that there was a very large demon outside. Like maybe something as big as the house or larger. And I think the, the thought came to my mind, like, why hasn't it 
crushed or destroyed the house. I believe a thought like that came to my mind. So I think I could sense that there was a very large demon outside with two that were smaller. So maybe regular size, which who knows <laughs> what is regular size? Who knows what is the regular size of demons? Let's say that large demon was larger than a house, taller than a house, I mean. And the two demons, I believe I sensed that there were two demons. The two demons, I believe I could sense were smaller. Maybe five feet, six feet, I don't know. And the white woman, I may have things mixed up a bit, but the white woman with the dark hair spoke to me and talked with me going toward my father's kitchen. And I don't remember any of it. <laughs> I don't remember any of it. Now, you may ask me, who do I think that white woman and those two white males were or are? I believe they were angels. I don't really, from my understanding, I don't really get too many pleasant dreams. <laughs> I think most of my dreams are very demonic. So if I get a dream about angels or something really well, I think it really sticks out. So much, I think. So much. I think 95% of the time, my dreams are demonic. Unless I am having good dreams. Dreams. Unless I am getting good dreams and not remember them. But I think most of the time I get demonic dreams. I believe that dream really encouraged me. You may be going through a hard time. You know, <laughs> I want to say this. I guess I saw white angels, but I don't think I ever seen a black angel, <laughs> which may not be important, you know, whatever. But anyways, <laughs> you may be going through a hard time. You may believe God doesn't care about you. If you are living for God, do you know exactly what is going on around you? I'm not the type of person, I think there are some people who have a gift of, I guess, dreams, night visions, whatever they are called. I don't believe I have that gift. You know, I may have the gift of knowledge sometimes, maybe the gift to teach at times, I guess. 
but I don't have that, I guess it is a prophetic gift. I don't know. You may be having a hard time in life. You may believe you are all alone. But what if you could see what you can't see? Now, I had that dream, night vision, or I guess I was in the spirit. I don't know. But I think that dream, dream, showed me that I am not alone. I believe that dream showed me that my prayers are not in vain, at least at that time. I think that dream showed me that there is a purpose for living in God. I think sometimes we may see part of the picture and think to ourselves, hey, you know, why are so many bad things happening to me? Like, why are things so hard? But what if you could see the entire picture? I believe that dream really encouraged me. When I saw, which I believe they were angels, when I saw those angels, I believe I felt peace. Like, I even smiled and grinned and... <laughs> I believe I had another dream about a very skinny, tall angel. I think that was around the time I would pray often as well. And I think I was praying, I would pray often with my niece. Now, you know, like I said before, most of the time I receive, I believe I receive mostly demonic dreams. So if I receive something, I guess, angelic or something of God, I think it really sticks out. So I believe I had dream, which I believe it was a supernatural experience. I believe the angel came as like a huge cloud, like in a cloud form, which may not make any sense. And that angel came closer and closer and closer and closer toward the ground. And once that angel touched the ground, his form changed to like, I guess like us, but, but I think he was real tall and skinny, like real skinny. And I believe there was a large snake posted at my parents' house. And I may not remember everything clearly, but I believe that angel was moving so fast, so fast, and that snake was shooting some type of this may sound unbelievable. You may say, Kevin, you watch too much Star Wars. Kevin, you watch too many movies, which I don't really. You know, I watch videos about cats and animals and people <laughs> cooking fish, which I don't like to eat fish. You know, I look at teachings about God, but I don't look at rated R movies. 
I don't look at horror movies. I don't really look at, I guess, regular movies. I don't think I do. Maybe I watched, what is that show called with those swords? Uh, when they make those swords and stuff like that, whatever that is called. I don't really look at regular stuff too much. You know, I like, for some reason, I like watching people cut up fish and prepare it, prepare it in <laughs> whatever. But anyways, that angel was going real fast to where I could not see it too well. And that serpent was shooting some type of laser-like projectile. This may sound silly, right? But that serpent was no match to that angel. I believe that angel grabbed that serpent by like its neck or like the top part of its, I guess the, let me see. Let's say this is the snake. <laughs> I believe the angel grabbed it like right here and like tore his head off. <laughs> Look now. You may be going through a hard time. And I think around that time, I think some bad things was happening. I believe I was having bad dreams as well. But what? I kept on praying. I believe I kept on praying. I think there is so much going on that we don't actually see. I am telling you. Now, I don't dream about angels every day. I wish I could. Every now and then, God may bless me with like a really good dream. For instance, I had a dream to where I saw my body change. Do you understand what I mean by that? To where I saw these colors, like I believe the colors was not of this earth. And in slow motion, I believe I could see my body changing. You may say I have mental problems. You may say that, Kevin, you are on that goose. You are on that alcohol. I have not drank alcohol, man. Man, for like five, six or more years. I guess about that or more I think so which I do not really like alcohol anyway even back when I was in sin no I did not really like the taste especially beer man look now if you are living for God whether you feel I guess God's presence or the Holy Spirit presence or a holy presence, whether you feel a nice presence or not, stay encouraged. I think God showed me some of those dreams to encourage me because he did not have to do it. I think I guess. I think he gave me a peek in the supernatural realm. 
Now, do I dream like that all the time? No. I wish I could have more heavenly dreams. But I usually get <laughs> dreams of me getting chased or... I believe I had a dream to where a demon was or whatever, something was hitting me with a whip. And I could feel the pain too and I could not really move and like, boom! I believe I was getting hit by a whip over and over again. Horrible dream. Maybe the evil dreams are preparing me to be stronger, I guess. I don't know. But I pray against them as well. So stay encouraged. Don't give up on God because you feel like he has abandoned you. Stay focused. No matter what happens to you, stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. Never give up on God. Let's say God is angry at you. And let's say he told you, hey, since I am mad at you, I am not going to talk to you for one year. Now, let's say that actually happens. Okay. The only way to get to heaven is through Jesus Christ, right? So even if Jesus actually did abandon you, are you going to turn your back on him? Even if Jesus is this mean, cruel God, if getting to heaven if we can only get to heaven through Jesus Christ, why would you turn your back on him? Whether he is mean or not, I think heaven is much better than hell. Even if you think Jesus is a tyrant or a cruel God, so what? So what? Hey, if I die and have to leave this world, whether Jesus is a tyrant, cruel, mean, hateful, bitter, whatever type of God, hey, I don't want to go to hell, right? So if I don't want to go to hell, and if heaven is better than hell, hey, let me put up with Jesus then, right? But Jesus is not that way. I believe he, he is a loving and caring God. But even if demons place negative thoughts in your mind, telling you that Jesus is power hungry, whatever. Hey, do you want to go to hell or heaven? Let me go somewhere where I am not tormented, right? Man. Let me stop here. God bless you.